KBOI 2 News, first at four. And good afternoon. Several people in Canyon County are still out of their homes. You'll recall a roadway collapsed onto a pipe 10 days ago, flooding 20 homes. A roadway is still being repaired. KBOI 2's Haley Kramer is live. She's in Canyon County to show us the bigger problem for those living in this neighborhood. Haley. Canyon County District 4 is waiting on a new pipe and that should be here Monday. They say the work should be finished next Thursday or Friday, but the work for, of the homeowners whose homes were damaged by the flooding is far from over. Lori Hardin and her husband were in California the morning of the flood, working on moving the rest of their belongings to Idaho. They were supposed to start living in their new home last week. Now they are living in the front yard. A lot of people have in their mind, they've seen the flooding and it might be a few inches you mop it out and it really wasn't. This is, the house has been pretty much torn apart completely. Most people are not going to be able to live in these houses before winter or through the winter. So we're going to be trying to stay warm in a trailer. Until recently, all 20 families were without clean water. Some are still waiting. It has been almost impossible to shower and until recently, they had to drive into town to go to the bathroom. Many say they didn't eat for the first few days because they couldn't cook and didn't have time to leave. Some churches provided meals later in the week, and the Red Cross has delivered bottled water. None of the homeowners have flood insurance, and many of them say they don't have the money to fix their homes. Hardin lost everything, her appliances, furniture, many of her clothes. But she says the most upsetting loss is the personal items she can't replace. I had books that were hand autographed by people to my children, that my grandchildren, I would read those stories to them and we don't have those books anymore. Um, you know, some people look at it like, well, start new memories. I'm not that type of person. Neighbors say they have helped each other out, but they haven't seen much from the outside community. Uh, many, told, many told me they are frustrated by lack of communication from Canyon County. And at this point, they tell me they don't know how what kind of help they will get. Live in Canyon County, Haley Kramer, KBOI 2 News.